How's it going everyone? Getting ready to do another 100 Travanco runs. Here's the stats. I have 400 Magic Mine, 700 for the Horking or Digging. Stats, basic stats, a um, little bit of strength, Dax until you get all your gears, then everything else goes to Vitality. Looking at the gears, I have Dual Greaves, standard Whirlwind Barbarian gears. Um, I swapped out Laying of Hands for Chance Guard and wearing a 30% Nature Ring. Just trying to get that uh, Magic Mine boost to 400. In the past, I would be running around like 200 to 250. Uh, I got some additional charms uh, to get that over the mark. Uh, overall, I normally run this for a ruin, so I wouldn't care about magic fine. But this time, you know, just ch try to change it up a little bit. I put Ist on my um, Alibaba for uh, horking or digging. Look at the skill tree. Um, I max out battle order. Uh, some people max out shout, but I only put a few points in shout. I max out natural resist instead. Uh, sword mastery and um, whirlwind and the rest is just like one point for each just just standard uh, your standard uh, whirlwind build so whatever left over I have I just put it in the shell so moving on to the mercenary uh, he has Andario Visage for the helmet uh, with a Rao Ruin, Reaper's Toll and 42 armor so this is going to be the last run for this year tomorrow is 2022 so let's do this on the first run, we got a set item for Natalia. On run number three, we got a unique war belt. It's Thunder Guard's bigger. Run number six, we got another laying of hands. I have so many of these. On run number 10, I had too much money, so I took a little break. Did some gambling. Bought a bunch of rings to see what I get. And uh, it turns out to be pretty good. I uh, got this dual leech ring. Uh, I actually went to Discord and do a price check on it and somebody was saying that they could give me a vex for it, so that's pretty good. On the same game, I got my first rune drop. It's rune, which is pretty good. On run 18, found a Durio shell. On run 21, got a Immortal King belt. On run 24, found another set piece, this time for the druid. On run 26, we got a unique serpent skin armor. This should be the skin of the Viper Magi, I believe. On run 33, we got another set item, heavy bracer for the necromancer. On run 35, I found a unique grand charm. This would be Geet's Fortune. I found a lot of these, but none of them are perfect. I'm still looking for that perfect uh, Geet's Fortune. On run 54, I found a unique ring. Seven, we got a unique ogre mall. Right. Run 62, we found a ballista. The roll is actually pretty good for this barista. It's 197. Uh, 200 is max, I believe. On run 65, we got this unique ball rock blade. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone actually used this. Maybe for the mercenary. On run 67, I found another unique ring. Uh, this time it's actually uh, Raven Frost. I'm still looking for that perfect Raven Frost. On run 74, picked up a unique weapon for the assassin. This is the Shadow Killer. On run 98, I got another Grand Charm, another Geet's Fortune. It's not a perfect one though, so I'm still looking for that perfect Geet's Fortune. So here's the stuff I got for today. Uh, doing 100 traffic runs. This is the last run for this year. Uh, in a few hours, it's going to be uh, 2022. Um, it wasn't a good run, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't get any cool high runes. I got an S rune. But you know, that dual leech ring from gambling is uh, totally worth it. Uh, you know, I can trade that for like a Vex or something. 
Um, but overall, yeah, it was fun. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for watching.